Draco. Soldier. Is it Soldier or Draco? Soldier. Big Draco, Soldier. Draco. All right, Soldier Boy, man. Like Big I want I wanted to have a I wanted to have a time where we spent some time to get Soldier Boy his flowers, man. And I want I want whoever can challenge us on this situation, dog. I want I want y'all to challenge us with comments in the in the in the comment section on this if y'all see this on YouTube, dog. Soldier Boy is definitely a legend, bro. He's a legend. Definitely a rap legend. Put He's him up legend. there. Let's yeah. go ahead I'm and put to, Soldier I'm Boy. Put, as a legend. I'm about to put him on the Mount Rushmore. I don't give a fuck. Nah. I don't give a fuck. Of Atlanta. The niggas on Mount Rushmore ain't that nigga even from Mississippi. He from Alabama, legend. Mississippi. He from Chicago. And then he moved to Mississippi? And then he moved to Atlanta. What did Mississippi have to do with anything? He from Mississippi. Gucci from uh, Birmingham. Soldier Boy's from Alabama, Mississippi. Why are we telling everything about Fuck everybody? That. Fuck yeah. that. So, Soldier the goat, man. He the goat. Okay, I want, I want, I want to try to see if we can give all our, our reasons why that Soldier the goat and. Are we gonna give accolades or like sentimental? Like we just got a name and everything. I feel yeah. like everything, everything comes into account. Um, you know what I mean? Because a lot of these guys, they can't, they can't even think of Soldier Boy being looked at. He's as a, a legend. legend because of Crank That. Give another reason. Crank that, what, what? But you got to go further into it, like, why? Well, that starts. That. Oh, you want me to start? Oh, you really want me to? Nah. You, you got to say the next thing. Like, okay. No, he mean, like, crank why you that. feel like Why you feel like he's crank a that. legend? Explain what Crank That was, what it did. Um, How it had was, the country around his Superman. What it did is it pioneered rap on YouTube as mm, far okay. as bringing um, the masses over there. Uh, making that a big platform to want to be used and continue to be used all to the point today. They're monetizing shit that they never even probably, you know, saw. And Soldier Boy's influence, I feel like, had a lot to do with the black people coming over there. Then, um, that's all I can say with Crane Dad. Because, I mean, aside from the fact that everybody was doing the dance, it was like the first version of TikTok type shit. Like, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Soldier Boy is like prime for like what's going on right now. I feel mm-hmm. like, and that says a lot about Soldier Boy, dog. Like Soldier Boy been around for so long, bro. Yeah. And like, like I know, I know, like a lot of people like to really think about rap legends and hip hop legends. They they usually like a big part of that pie that they really like grade you on is about like your lyrical ability. Oh, mm-hmm. you know what I mean, but. But like I don't really like I don't really like to like hold people that because I know it's a lot of shit that it's come into making this cake, bro. There's a lot of people, shit that come into genres. making this cake, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? Soldier Boy being able to have the ear to make hits, mm. being able like he's produced hits, um, his longevity. Mm. You know what I mean? And then like how like you just said like how he he really like was just like a uh what's the word a pioneer of the yeah. whole YouTube shit. You know what yeah. I mean? And what I mean by like Soldier Boy being like prime for this shit like right now versus like y'all y'all really been having a hard time with y'all versus after Jeezy and Gucci. Y'all want to do some numbers? How Soldier Boy and Bow Wow do one? It's gonna do numbers. Bow Wow on the song? No, Soldier Boy and Soldier Boy and Bow Wow do a versus battle. That's gonna do numbers. Oh my gosh, I am there for That's it. That's gonna do numbers, bro. I can already see the Harlem Shake, <laughs> dude. I gotta get it. I'm real rusty. quick before I get back into it. Who y'all got? I got Soulja Boy with Ooh, No, no. I got oh, Bow Wow. Man. Bow wow it's the kiss me through the oh, phone, but then the let me wow hold you win. with Bow Wow. But I got Bow Wow for the win, dog. Bow Wow. Bow Wow got more number ones than Drake, bro. Oh, no I way. got Bow That's Wow. Hell no. That's a fact. Google Hell it. Hell no. That's a fact. Google that's that not real quick. quick. If that, if that ain't true no more, then Drake just passed him in the last that's year. Which I can believe fan, has happened. That's but possible. Drake done passed him in the last year. All I'm saying is, and there was this video that I posted on my Instagram that, and it was like saying who's a legend and who's not. And they said that. I didn't make the video, to be honest, but somebody else um, said that Bow Wow is not a legend. So the thing is... You got 16. You got 16? 14 singles, two albums. All right, let me see. So the thing is, Bow Wow is is weird. This, this I don't want to say these words, but it's weird that the, the lack of respect that people have for him nowadays. I'm going to just say mm. that. I mean, he he's yet to reinvent himself since he's turned into a grown man. Soulja yeah. Boy has been able to reinvent himself Time and time again. And right. another thing that makes Soulja Boy so legendary, and it's kind of grim, but I have to go there because rap rap is like the street bravado, the gangster bravado, I'll do this, I'll do that. Soulja Boy one of the only few rappers who actually shot a nigga. Oh my gosh. Soulja Boy Drake, actually... Hold on real quick, man. This is crazy. They said, what I'm looking at right now on Billboards.com, they're saying Drake got one number one hit, five top ten hits. I don't know what his numbers are, but Bow Wow has more than him. But yeah. Yeah. You know? you're Me and Jazz already know that. You're late to the party. Bow Wow has more number one hits than Drake, and he will watch Soulja Boy in a pure versus battle. Yep. Yep, he will. Okay, go ahead. Finish what you said. I don't know, no. 
I mean, I know some hits that I'm going to tell you. Um, Just hold up, coming home. And Drake. I want to make this about your Drake. You know I don't want to talk about yeah, Drake unnecessarily. Okay. I hate that thumb face. Get, oh nigga, bro. my gosh! Let's get Not back to thumb. let's get back to Big Soldier. Okay, now, like Big I was Draco. Saying, what makes Soldier Boy so legendary? Is he actually shot a nigga. All these niggas rap about shooting and killing have never done bro, it. Come Soldier on Boy actually shot a nigga for running this in his nigga, house this nigga D and is slapping morbid, him, bro. D, you is morbid, bro. That's not a that's not a point in the hip hop. I is. didn't make the hip hop bravado up, bro. Nah, that's is. just the hip hop braggadocio show is what it, it is. It is, but it shows that you the hip hop braggadocio show <laughs> ass point <laughs> that you morbid, bro. Hey, bro, that's a good point though. I don't like, know. especially because how soldiers viewed at this goofy lane, what? and we look at all these gangster ass niggas view him that way. But soldier done shot a nigga. And the nigga went on Vlad TV and did an interview and confirmed that. So now listen, he didn't tell the same story that soldier told. But he got on flat TV and confirmed that Soldier shot him five but times. Don't. But that, but that show you though, like Soldier Boy is well how this shit work, bro. Like, Come on, bro. I'm finna get on this bit to turn this up to a thousand percent. <laughs> I'm finna turn this up to a thousand yeah. percent to yeah. entertain y'all, man. Soldier Boy's an entertainer, bro. Yeah. But matter of fact, if if we'll give him a legend as a rapper, like. I guess as an entertainer? Internet He's legend. Legendary. He's an internet oh, yeah, legend. Bro. He's one of the first. He is the first person to break the internet. The first black mm. person to break the internet. Yeah, I think you got to go deeper this. than internet legend, though. 50 Tyson, an internet legend. Oh Soldier on a different level <laughs> than that, though. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I think, I don't know. I think Soldier pioneered the use of the internet. Can we, though. can we, can, can I challenge y'all real quick just off the whim of like, can we, can we name a couple people that probably wouldn't be here without Soldier? Travis Scott. Travis Scott. Travis Scott slept on Big Soldier couch, and oh, he, he he introduced Quavo to Travis Scott when they and everybody thought he was just some weirdo. Soldier did that. Mm. Damn. So Quavo probably wouldn't even have his style because. Oh. Come on now. Yeah. So we got we got to put the whole Migos to Soldier Boy. Listen, when the Migos out. first came out, people said Quavo sounded like Soldier Boy, and Quavo did an interview saying. He was influenced I by Soldier Boy. No, for real? Y'all remember yes. that? You don't Damn. remember that? Because yes. Soldier Boy was saying stuff about, you know, yeah. the fact that they were supposed to have been working together and all this stuff, and, you know, they stole his swag and all that. So yeah. I could believe that. The craziest thing is, I think. Real quick, who, who can you say that's probably not going to be here without Soldier Boy making it through? Oh, God dang. I don't know none of these niggas. Um, who's good? Like, <laughs> look. There's a lot of people that, like, I feel like guys like Hurricane Chris when they came, we wouldn't know who that the was. Franchise boys. If y'all really Shit want like me, if y'all really boys. want me to say it, it's really anybody that make them twerk songs and um look at how where he pioneered. He pioneered, she got a don't. She got a don't. So anything with that, you know, that up tempo beat as far as commercial and so that birthday. Trap Beckham, you know, one okay. time for the birthday bitch, like stuff like that. I thought um, that was, I always thought that was like Lil' Key Swag. DJ Lil' Key Sweat. Mm mm. That's even Soldier Boy shit to an extent. Okay. Because you got to remember a certain, like I said with the internet shit, like Lil' Key them came after I was cranking that Soldier Boy. I was cranking that Soldier Boy in 2005 and shit. You see what no, I'm you saying? You said uh, she got a don't. Okay. But let's be honest. I got you. All of his stuff around that time, anything, Kiss Me Through the Phone was a, a song that pioneered certain shit like. FaceTime, like, you, you see what I'm saying? Like, just a lot of shit was taken into account with the things that he was saying and doing. Him, Chris Brown, and Bow Wow in that era pioneered a lot of stuff. And I'm glad, like, people like Chris Brown just still motherfucking going. Yeah, I kind of, uh, I agree with him and Chris Breezy. I think Bow Wow was just um, blessed in, in the matter of circumstances. Jermaine Dupree wrote all that stuff. He Dang. even went in the booth and pre-rapped it so Bow Wow yeah. understood which cadence to say it. Gotcha. He was just a cute kid that got picked. Right, you it know was what just, I'm that, that's... I think that was a part of, that was a major part of it. Like, yeah. him just being a cute little kid rapping. I have yeah. a question. With Jermaine Dupree having his new artist, L.A. The Goat, mm -hmm. do y'all think that um, it will be cookie cutter stuff then? I think that L.A. The Goat got more of a, no. his own swag and he can come out himself. I think because he helped Bow Wow get so many number one hits and L.A. is just a nigga who can just straight out rap. Yeah, I think that they can collab Together. and come up with some stuff. I think, like you got to remember, Jermaine Dupri has another random fact. I know he had he's the he's the producer to have the uh, he was the youngest person, the youngest producer to ever get a number one record. Meaning he wrote and produced a record at seventeen that went number one. Oh. You know what I'm saying? So he's been producing and writing songs not outside of Bow Wow for years. Like he's gotcha. one of the greatest songwriters ever. So I just feel like he gotta have something up his sleeve that LA right. can take and freak. And I'm talking about freak. Do you yeah. hear me? 
So I'm I'm glad that he's back in the game as far as yeah. he's concerned. Cause that was a man. you don't be knowing the pioneers of people and and that would actually take into account why Bow Wow has stopped. Like why we haven't mm-hmm. seen the reinvention. Because, he thought he outgrew Jermaine Dupree, mm-hmm. and uh, he never really bounced back from that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So so big soldier, legendary big soldier. Definitely Big a legend, Draco, bro. Legend. I call Y'all fucking with the new soldier, Draco sound on challenge? The like song, he, yeah, he I just took to it, it over again. I took the internet over again. Yeah, like I can't do nothing but like, bro, I you think good. I think the verses need to happen to where people 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 understand. I think so. That'd be a very entertaining be a great one. one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Big soldier. Yeah. Y'all remember when he... Um, <laughs> He snapped on Kodak, then he immediately recanted when all the patients got on his head. Yeah, no, wait, that's when Kodak when first, first, shot. first came out, bro. And um, Kodak was doing the the skirt, skirt. Kodak bop, and then he said something about Soldier Boy trying to do it, and Soldier Boy did his typical man. Kodak, pay man, what you told my nigga? What the what the rule? Got online, and then like Haitians just start coming online yeah. with swords and flags yeah. and burning shit and talking to Soldier Boy and Haitian, and like he made another video like, is he mad? That wasn't even supposed to be. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I ain't mean it like that, little bro. <laughs> I was like, damn. Yeah. 